Hey guys, it's Wade. We're going to start with the build of the Dynam Peaks. So as you can see right here, I have my entire table set up. Everything pretty much inventoried. Made sure that nothing's broken. Wing supports, wing struts, props, landing gear, push rods, everything. Went through each component. Made sure I got my instruction manual out. I read the instruction manual all the way through to make sure I had like a general idea of what I was doing. Um, it doesn't really explain things that well. That's why I'm going to go ahead and make this video. I'm also going to try to explain what size screws and because it just gives them to you in millimeters. So I want to make sure that everything is good to go on that. But basically what I've done is I've just went ahead and set everything up and out of the way and nice and neat and organized so that I have an idea as to what's going on. So the first thing we're going to be doing is installing the landing gear. You can see right here, this is the landing gear. It comes pre put together so you don't really have to install any of the boots or anything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to install the landing gear. We're going to utilize the landing gear with these these screws right here. If you can see in my hand, kind of a small, small screw. I apologize for the, the blurriness of it, but small, small screws. Basically, there's going to be two screws, all right? And those screws are actually the, the 2.5, 10 millimeter screws. All right, and it kind of gives you an idea how big they are. Here's the basic screwdriver that they give you. There you go. Look how big it is right there. So just to give you kind of an idea on how big that screw is, this is my hand. So they're not very big whatsoever. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install those right on the bottom of this fuselage here. You can see right here. That little black panel with the two holes. All I'll do is basically take a hobby knife, which I've already done, and I'll pull this piece out, okay? And you can see down there, that's where your landing gear will line up and screw in there using those screws. Now keep in mind, when you're screwing in the landing gear, you want these black tips or the rounded portion of it to go forward for those of you who've never actually installed the uh, landing gear before like this on an aircraft. So it's going to be like a teardrop. You want the rounded end facing forward. So basically, I will go ahead and install it, and I'll let you know what it looks like here when we're done. Okay, as you can see, I've got the landing gear mounted on there, nice and neat. Uh, the screws went in fine, no issues. One thing that I will say, however, is that on the bottom of the, the panel, right here, you can see where the cover went back on. There's two strips of sticky tape that you're just going to have to peel back the, the paper. You don't have to glue these in. I decided just to use the sticky tape. That way, it would be a little more or a little less permanent, rather, so that if something does happen to the landing gear, I need to replace it. It's just that much easier. I like how they did put the holes in there so you can see you know, your screws and have access and basically pull it off in one fail swoop. So good job on that one for Dynam. So basically, we've got the landing gear on. Next, what we're going to do is move on to the wing struts. All right, the wing struts are over here, and they are the silver pieces right here. We're going to install those. Where those are going to be installed, give me one second while I adjust this, they're going to be installed up front. Okay, there's a little panel up here that pulls off like so, and you can see there's little four little screw holes. Those are going to be installed right there. All right, let me grab one and basically figure out how this is going to go so I can show you beforehand. But if you look right here, these wing struts are pretty much just going to sit right there. All right, and there's going to be two sets or a set of them, so basically two. So I'll go ahead and install those, let you know when we're done, and I'll let you know any problems we had. Okay, so you can see I've got the two main wing stabilizers on. The screws are nice and tight. Now you want to be careful. Don't push too hard on the screws because as you can see, right down here, I know that's hard to see because of the focus issue, but right down there, there's nothing underneath of there. And that's true for all four sides. It's hard to see down there, but there's nothing really underneath there. So be careful when you're actually screwing the screws down. Make sure you're actually holding something underneath, putting some pressure up so you can get these screws on nice and tight. So that way you're not damaging the fuselage in the process. Next, what we're going to do is this cover will actually go on. Make sure you test fit it beforehand. Basically just test fit and make sure this bad boy goes on nice and neat. And you're going to glue it down. I'm going to use this glue that they supplied just because that's not really like a structural portion. And I'm just going to glue 
onto the little tabs right here. And then I'm also going to glue onto this flat space. And I'm not going to put very much, just a couple dabs, basically, just to hold it down. And I'm going to glue this thing shut. Now, this isn't the battery hatch. The battery hatch is actually right in front of it. So if you remove that, then you'll see. Okay, guys, welcome back. Basically, you can see that I've glued it down. It looks nice and neat. Try to get in there as straight as possible. So we're done with that. I mean, that's pretty much on there nice and solid. Now we're going to focus our attentions, even though I know that the instruction manual says to focus your attention on the bottom wing first, we're going to go ahead and focus on the tail. Now a couple features I want, to notice, want you to notice about the tail. Right here, you've got two screw holes on the back. Right here, you've got that little slot, okay? Now that slot basically is going to accommodate this tab right there. Alright, so when you're going to put it in, you're going to have to slide the front portion in, drop down the back portion, and then put the tab on. Now, you're going to install the horizontal stabilizer first, and I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of a dry fit. So basically, you're going to work this, this in as best as possible, alright? You'll work that in, and then you're going to have to go ahead and fit this in there like so making sure that it all fits into place. All right, now basically what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do, do this for you because I only have one hand, so it's very difficult to actually fit all this in by myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and fit with one hand um, on there, and I'll get back with you as soon as I'm done. Now the screws that I will be using before I go, they're the 20 millimeter screws. I wanna see, I put them right next to the screwdriver. They're the longer ones that come in the, one of the bags. So you're gonna use two of those to attach everything. Optional, you can put some glue in that little slot right there. You can put some glue just to kind of secure it. Um, but since it's screwed down, I'm not going to really worry about it. So as soon as I get it done, I'll show you what I did. Once uh, I show you what I did, I'll see if I had any issues or problems, and I'll let you know. Okay, welcome back. So I've got everything on. Um, I found out that trying to do it separately is actually more difficult. What I did was I actually placed this piece right here and that piece right there, the horizontal and the vertical stabilizers. I placed those two together first and then I worked it in from this end to the back so that I could make sure that I got that little tab that goes right in there. I lined that up nice and even and it literally fell right into place. Now during this whole process, this little tab right here, I moved it down. I moved it out of the way so it wasn't getting in the way or whatnot. And then you can see underneath, let me uh, show you, but basically underneath, right there and right there, that's where your 20 millimeter screws will go. I tightened it down nice and tight so there's no wiggle whatsoever on this tail. And we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is take two of the smaller screws that are in my little bucket here. Basically just two of the little smaller screws. Um, I think, and I know it's really difficult to see, but I'm going to take the small, small screws, two of those, and screw down that metal bracket. But as of yet, this is what she's looking like. Not too shabby. So I'll go ahead and tighten that bracket down. And uh, next, it looks like we'll be working on the wing or... Okay, welcome back. Now I got the metal plate screwed down with the tiny screws. Now there is a difference between the tiny screws. There's skinnier ones and there's fat ones. The fat ones won't fit through, so just pick out the skinnier ones and uh, they'll fit in. Next, what we're going to do is work on a little scale detail. You've got four of these little rods. I know it only shows three right here, but you've got four of these little rods right here. Okay, there's two long ones and two short ones. And then you're going to have these little springs. All right, these springs are going to hook onto the ends of these little rods, and then they're going to clip onto the little loops that are on the wings. The only reason I had three was because I already hooked one up to show you spring, rod, spring, hook it up. It's fairly easy, self-explanatory, just don't pull too hard onto the stabilizers or you'll break the stabilizers. So short on the bottom, long on the top, and then uh, as soon as I get them done, I'll show you what it looks like. I like these, they, they add a nice little scale detail to the plane, make it look a little more legit. So as soon as I get done, I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, so we've got our wires. Basically both sides, you can see they look. I have a little bit of warping in my wing. I don't know if you can see. 
So just keep that in mind. That is fresh out of the box. It's a little bit warped, but that's no big deal. We can actually fix that. Uh, a little bit of heat or whatever, but uh, I mean a little bit of heat. But we'll figure it out and we'll fix it. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on the wing, the bottom wing right here. Okay. This bottom wing has the little wing braces on it. Now the directions say to basically install the wing and then do the wing braces. These are the ones I'm talking about. Little wing stabilizers, they're carbon fiber. But I think it's going to be easier to work on them if I just go ahead and install them while the wing is, you know, off so I get a little bit more work room. So I'm going to install them. A couple key features, key things you want to keep in mind. You also want to keep in mind that these are going to sweep forward. So you want this side to be on the bottom. Your top wing is going to be obviously a little bit farther ahead, further uh, forward, so keep that in mind. Install it right. Also, if you install it on the inside of this one, probably want to install it on the inside of that one, towards the inside, towards the fuselage, just to keep things nice and even. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install those, screw those down, and show you what I got when I'm done. Uh, one thing I did note is that my bag actually came with a bunch of screws, flat flat, um, flat tip screws with some nuts. And then there's also washers over here. Now, I've seen a couple build videos online and they have a completely different set of hardware than I do. So I'm basically just using what I have to, to make it work. It seems like it's gonna work okay, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll go ahead and put this together, let you know any problems I had, and we'll okay. be back. Okay, so we've got the wing bolted on, four 20 millimeter screws, one, two, three, four. Everything's bolted on nice and neat. I didn't want to go too tight because you can see it's actually pulling that through the wing. I didn't know if that's what it was supposed to do or not. So what I did was just kind of let up a little bit. I'm going to throw some glue on there just to make sure. I've got the carbon fiber struts on there, the wing struts, they're going to be on there. And they should, everything should line up with the top. Now basically what I'm going to do is just load the top wing on, make everything match up. Uh, I noticed on the bottom, I didn't use the washers that came in there. So what I did was I just threw some glue on the back of the screws, or the nuts, I'm sorry, to make sure that they didn't back out. I will have her use the washers on that side. So let me go ahead and install that wing, and uh, I'll let you know when we're done. Okay, so I have screwed the wings on. It was definitely, definitely easier to utilize the method of attaching it to the bottom wing first. That way when you set the top wing on, all it's got to do is line up. And everything lines up nice and perfect. Alright, I used the washers. I don't know if you can see under there, but I did use washers on that. It doesn't matter. I still plopped a little bit of glue. The glue that they provided. This kind of like a rubber cement almost on the screw thread itself behind the nut. I did that on all of them just to prevent them from backing out. So both wings are installed, everything's good to go. They basically what we're gonna work on next is we're gonna install the control horns. The control horns are gonna go for one, the elevator right here, all the way back. And then on the other side, we're gonna basically install it from there to the rudder, okay? We'll install both of those and then we'll install the control horns that go from the aileron to the top aileron right there. So I'll go ahead and install those. Those are simple, straightforward. All you gotta do is put your clasp and your clevis on right there, attach it to the other end, which is nice and crooked, and it'll be done. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll get back with you. Okay, aileron control horns installed. Rudder control horns installed. And elevator control horns installed. So, all we have left to do now is install the prop. Now, I actually received in my box two different props, and you can see plain and clear that they're two different sizes. They're both six for as far as the pitch is concerned, but the top one is a 12 inch, and the bottom one is a 13 inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the 13 by six prop, just because that's what it says it's supposed to have on the, uh, the actual front of the book. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that one, using the spinner right there, and that's the one we're going to use. I think the smaller one might give us a little bit more speed, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with the bigger, the bigger prop right now. So I'll go ahead and install that. You're going to use basically uh, two of the, the mid-size screws. There's only two of them with that same size in there. 
Uh, but you want to ins install that with the 2.5 by 8 millimeter screws using the spinner. And uh, I'll go ahead and install that and let you know what it looks like. All right, time. so we have the propeller on. We've got the prop and the spinner. Now, there is a particular order to put everything on. So basically what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is take all the pieces apart. You're gonna take the washer that's on the inside and the, and the nut off. You'll put the prop on the actual uh, shaft right behind the spinner mount. You put the print actually facing towards the front and then what you're going to do is you'll put the uh, washer on afterward and then the nut. Then you'll tighten it all down and make sure that you get the prop, the actual prop blades and the propeller blades to line up with those holes on the side. All right, And then you'll mount your little screws to screw the spinner on right there. And you've got your prop and everything on. So that pretty much completes it. This is the Peaks biplane. From Dynam. The only thing I really have left to do is do my fine-tune adjustments on my control surfaces and throw some of the decals on. I'm not sure what decals I really want on there so I'm gonna hold off on the decals. But this has been the build video by Wade Dynam Peaks 42 inch biplane. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe and if you have any questions about the build feel free to just comment on the YouTube channel. Ask me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, let you know and see if I can help you with the build. Thanks again for watching.